Hello, how's it going? It's been a very long minute. Literally, the other video I made was back when Corona wasn't a thing. But now we're in the thick of it all. We're three weeks into being quarantined and I finally decided to pull the trigger. Pull the trigger and make more videos. Pull the trigger and hold myself accountable with how much progress I'm making or lack of progress I'm making in my goals this year. Pull the trigger in terms of my discipline. There's definitely a lot of things that I need to start tuning in on and kind of improving if I really want this year to be the best year of my life. So this video is for those people that want to make the best time or best use of this year and what we have left. It is just April, so we still have a ways to go. And sure, we are in the midst of a pandemic, but I am very optimistic. I'm very um, ambitious, regardless of what's going on, that I will be able to still be able, like, be able to accomplish my goals is what I'm trying to say. So this video is for those people. Now, how to execute your goals on your goals during this quarantine. Number one, minimize distractions. So I personally have noticed that I am taking way too much time on Instagram or spending too much time on Instagram. Not in the sense that like, I mean, I don't mind posting. I love posting because for the most part, everything that I post is very intentional, whether it's me working on, you know, my creativity or it's me working on my writing. But lately, I've noticed that I'm spending a lot of time just watching people's stories and I'm like, it's time. So I'm going to break up with Instagram for just a hot minute, two weeks, maybe three max. If this quarantine ends, I think I'm going to be a little tempted to hop back on, but we'll see how that goes. So far, I'm going to probably disconnect Instagram. Snapchat is the only one I'll probably keep around because to be honest, I don't do much on there. So I don't see it being much of a distraction. Um, so whether social media is your distraction, whether your phone is your distraction, whether video gaming is your distraction, the best thing to do is either completely cut it off like I am going to because I got to a point where I've realized it's like too late to even, you know, try to minimize it. Or you do just put some kind of timer on it, right? So you only allow yourself to check Instagram, you know, maybe at 5 p.m., like after dinner, right? Because you don't want to do that shit right before bed. But whether whatever it may be, whether it be an app that you decide to download so you can, you know, limit your amount of um, notifications or whatever from social media, place a limit. If, um, second, establish what it is you want to execute. So some of you may have made some goals back at, you know, January 1st, 2020, or some of you have not made any goals yet, and that is completely fine. There is no too late marker. There is no finish line marker. Life, like your whole life is a finish line. So you have plenty of time. Um, so if you haven't made any goals yet, do that now. Take a second, pause, and ask yourself, what is it really that you want to achieve and what kind of things are realistic right now? And what are some really big picture things and how can we connect the bridge from the realistic to the huge picture uh, dreams that you have, right? And if you need some guidance with doing this, I, I'm really... Um, helpful when it comes to that. I love talking to my friends about it. Drop uh, your name in the comments and we'll reach out or I'll reach out to you and we'll discuss a time to um, webcam or talk on the phone. But I just love kind of nitpicking people's brains and seeing um, what it is they love to do, what their passion is, because I am a very passionate individual. Um, so everything I pursue is very passion driven. And yeah. So anyways, yeah. Um, so if you haven't established any goals yet, Let's do that. If you have, let's create timelines for them, right? Let's create um, due dates just for yourself so you can hold yourself accountable. For example, I have one that I completely failed and it was my podcast. I was supposed to have it up by 412. It is 413 and I have not done zilch for it other than contact the people that are going to be guests on it. And that is not enough for the last four months that I've been working on this project. So one of my biggest goals is to get my podcast up and running. No more dilly dallying, no more wasting time doing research on what it takes to have a podcast. I already bought the equipment. I already have the platform. Um, I forgot what it's called. It's like RS something that you need in order to have a podcast. Um, but that is what I need to do next is um, to, to work on that and to work on my books that I'm trying to write. The third tip that I have for you is accepting a balance. 
to your goals, accepting a balance to everything, but in particular today, your goals. Accept that some days will be harder. Accept that some days will be so easy. And understand that in the days where it's harder, it's an opportunity for you to grow. Accepting some bad days, some good days is a huge piece to the puzzle in executing your goals. And lastly, create a checklist. I kind of touched base on this when I was saying create a deadline. So creating a checklist can look as easy as, you know, yeah, in a year, I'd like to complete this. Great. Awesome. I do that all the time. But what I fail to do is work back. So yeah, sure, I wanna publish a book in December. What does that mean? That means that I should probably write at least, I don't know, the rough draft by September, Um, because realistically in December, I'm not trying to get it published, I'm just trying to get like other people's eyes on it, like editors and publishers and whatever that part of the process looks like. But right now my goal is rough draft due by September. And then before that even, I already have started thinking about where my book is supposed to look like today. Today I only have about 10 pages in and I could see the book being about 100 page uh, a read. So I think I realistically can contribute maybe 20 pages a month um, and then obviously go back, edit and fix and tweak until September. I have this book that I'm ready to give to someone as if it's the final copy, get a couple eyes on it. Um, and then after that, tweak it some more. And then finally, I don't know what the next part of the puzzle is, but uh, looking for a publisher. And that's something that's really important to note too, right? That maybe you don't know exactly what each step looks like till you get to your end goal. But you know, being confident in the step that you're in, which to me right now, it's writing the book, is key and then once we get to the next step which is looking for a publisher i will be able to do that with the wonderful help of google with the wonderful help of my friends who i'm sure know someone that knows someone through social media it is not difficult it is reasonable and easy to do if you just ask for help so last lastly like i said create a checklist um and like i said work work your way back from a year until you know what that should look like right now for you um but these are my four tips for how i'm going to be executing my goals for 2020 during um this quarantine but i mean this is supposed to continue after the quarantine um but yeah if this video helped you out, please make sure to like it, subscribe if you want to continue watching more content from me. I will be posting more regularly. I would like to post once a week. Um, And then tell your friends if you think this is helpful at all. But yeah, thank you so much.